Ever hear the one about the guy who brought a chair to a standing line? He was promptly told to stand in line. Ah, the good old line standoffs. We've all been there, haven't we? It's a universal experience, like biting into a hot pizza slice too soon and scalding the roof of your mouth. But I digress. Now, in this great theater of life, the line standoff is quite the spectacle. You've got your usual suspects, the line nudger, always gently pushing the boundaries of personal space. Then there's the space invader, who seems to think that standing closer to you will somehow teleport them to the front. And who can forget the sire, whose heavy exhalations are a symphony of impatience. These characters, they make standing in line quite the adventure, but here's a thought to chew on. Standing in line, it's a universal experience, but have you ever considered crouching? So there's this guy, let's call him Bob. Bob had a revolutionary idea. Instead of standing in line like everyone else, why not crouch? Now you're probably picturing Bob crouched down in line at the grocery store, looking like a cat ready to pounce. And you're not wrong. Bob, our adventurous hero, stooped low, knees bent, and butt almost touching the ground. His eyes were at the same level as the candy bars and gum at the checkout, a perspective he'd never really considered before. It didn't take long for the first confused look to find its way to Bob. A woman, her eyebrows knitted together in a puzzled frown, stared at him, then at the long line of standing people, then back at Bob. She asked the question we're all thinking, why are you crouching Bob? Bob, being Bob, simply replied, why not? The awkward maneuvering began when the line started to move. Bob, still crouching, had to shuffle forward like a crab at a beach party. You'd think he was playing an intense game of Twister rather than waiting to buy his groceries. Then came the physical discomfort. Bob's thighs started to burn, his back ached, and he was beginning to regret his revolutionary idea. The line seemed to stretch on forever and Bob wondered if he'd ever reach the checkout. And let's not forget the social awkwardness. People began to give Bob a wide berth, as if he was some strange, crouching creature. They whispered and pointed, and Bob felt their gazes like lasers. He began to feel like he was in a zoo, the main attraction at the crouching human exhibit. But Bob, ever the trooper, held his ground, or rather his crouch. He was committed to his experiment, even if it meant becoming the talk of the grocery store, even if it meant aching legs and a sore back. So, Bob quickly realized that crouching in line might not be the most practical or socially acceptable solution. But hey, at least he gave it a shot, right? So why don't we crouch in line? Well, aside from the obvious, like getting a crick in your neck or making people trip over you. Let's face it, folks. The world just isn't designed for a crouching populace. Picture this. You're at your favorite coffee shop and everyone is crouching. Sounds serene, right? Wrong. The barista can't see you and ends up shouting, triple shot, no foam, extra hot latte for whoever's down there. Not exactly the efficient morning rush you were hoping for, is it? And let's not forget about personal space. We've all had those moments when someone invades your bubble and it's uncomfortable. Now imagine that person crouching right next to you. It's like a whole new level of awkwardness. Plus, lines have a certain order to them. First come, first served. Crouching just throws that all out of whack. So, as much as we might wish for a seat while waiting in line, crouching might not be the best alternative. So, what have we learned from Bob's crouching experiment? Well, quite a few things, actually. We've learned that crouching in line while a novel idea isn't exactly the most popular trend. It's a bit like trying to bring back bell-bottom jeans or the Macarena. Amusing, sure, but not exactly practical. We've revisited the tale of the crouching tiger in the line, a story that's sure to go down in the annals of Q history. We've also explored the reasons why we don't crouch, from the fear of looking like a squatting duck to the potential for cramp-induced catastrophe. So, in a nutshell, crouching in line is a bit like trying to eat soup with a fork. Possible, yes, but there are easier ways to get the job done. So, next time you're stuck in a long line, remember Bob, and maybe, just maybe, bring a book instead of trying to crouch.